So it's hard to believe we're already halfway through October. You've waited this long, now you're getting ready to sell your home for one reason or another, but you're not quite sure how to get it ready so it has the most appeal as you're getting increased competition headed into the late autumn, early winter market. Today I'm gonna to go over my top five tips so that your home can stand out amongst all of the competition. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your central main realtor, Nick Isgro with eXp Realty. And today, as I just said at the beginning, I'm gonna give you my top five tips of how to really increase the appeal of your home as you're getting ready to list it in a very different market than earlier in the year. We're hitting this late autumn, early winter market. How do you stand out? How do you make your home pop compared to everybody else? We're gonna cover that today. Now, before I get into that, I wanna welcome you here to the channel. If you've never been here before, we cover all things real estate here in the state of Maine, but particularly right here in the central Maine market. If that's of interest to you or adds value to your process in the buying and selling of homes, do me a quick favor, go ahead and like this video, hit subscribe, knock that little alarm bell, you'll be notified every time we put out new content. As we start this, obviously history suggests that spring, early summer is often the best time to sell your home, but really the best time for you to sell your home, I always say this on this channel, is whatever is the right time for you specifically, depending on what's going on in your life. And that is gonna be different for everybody. It's not always the spring. And as we head into this late fall, early winter market, it might be the time for you. If it is, I wanna make sure that you get your home sold quick and for the most amount of money possible. Stay tuned to the end. I've got a final tip that's gonna be probably the most important. But as we get into this, a lot of this may seem like common sense, but as you get into the thick of selling your home and getting ready for it to market, if you don't have a list, oftentimes what happens is things just fall through the cracks because it is a very whirlwind experience on the front end of getting your house listed. So without any further ado, Let's get started. All right, first and foremost, this is gonna be any time of year. It matters a lot this time of year though, if you're getting ready to sell your home, and that is brighten the curb appeal. What happens here in Maine, as you guys know, everybody comes out in the spring. You get your yards ready, you trim back the hedges, everything looks good. Then you get to this day, you know, it could be a day like today uh, where we look outside, it's, you know, that classic October day, it's rainy, it's dreary probably haven't paid attention to those shrubs and hedges in a long time. Make sure your home is actually quite visible from the road or from the driveway as people are pulling in, however it's set into the lot specifically, make sure that it's open and available for people to see. What do I mean by that? It means a lot of those shrubs that may have grown up over the front windows, this happens all the time, this is a classic, trim those down so not only can people see the house from the front, but then when people go inside your house, you want them to be able to have the benefit, especially this time of year, of all of that light pouring through the windows, brightening up the space, and so they can see what the view looks like looking out the window as well, rather than just shrubs and hedges that have started to cover the house as we got late into the season, especially this year with all of the rain that we had. Other things for curb appeal, you know, make sure that the leaves are picked up, make sure walkways are brushed, and, and probably this time of year still, here in Maine, in central Maine anyway, we're still mowing our lawns. So as far as long as that goes on, make sure you have the lawn mowed, make sure the outside is clean, it's fresh. If you wanna put out some seasonal decorations, no big deal, sometimes that can give it some appeal. Warning though, don't go nuts with the Halloween stuff. Don't go crazy with anything actually. You want it to look clean, seasonal yes, untidy and overwhelmed no. And one final tip on the curb appeal, and this is gonna be as people come up to the house this time of year, nobody thinks of this one. There are spider webs everywhere right now. If you get into this time of year, the spiders, they've put their webs into the bushes, into all the little nooks and crannies outside your home before you're getting ready to show. Make sure you go around and just get those cleaned up as well. All right, my second tip here for getting your house ready to sell in this late fall, early winter market, cozy up the home. And this is gonna last you right through the winter, depending on how late you get that listing active you know, get the house feeling cozy. It's a time of year where, you know, people have been outside all summer, and now it's starting to get a little chilly, like today, rainy. They wanna come in and immediately feel that warmth, that nice cozy vibe that you can get going in the house. If you have a fireplace or a stove, maybe you get that going. Maybe you even show that in one or two of the listing photos. If you don't, don't worry. Make sure the heating system is in good working order and that the heat is actually on when people come into the house. There's nothing worse this time of year when you're out, especially after work a lot of times. Um, you know, people are getting out of work, it's late in the day, the sun's going down. 
It's chilly. When they step inside the home, you want the home to pull them in. Let them feel warmth, let them feel that coziness, and make them want to stay in the house. There's absolutely nothing worse this time of year than when you walk into a house and it's colder in the house sometimes than it is outside. It's a terrible feeling. You're in the house, it doesn't really feel good. And when people are in there looking at it in those conditions, they're really just gonna wanna leave fairly quickly. There's not much holding them there if it's not completely visually appealing and feeling good inside the house. Other things you could think about, seasonally colored uh, throws and throw pillows on some of the furniture. You could have a few decorations here and there depending on your flower displays, if you have something like that on the dining room table. But don't go nuts, don't go overboard. You don't want it to look cluttered, but just some nice seasonal touches using color and warmth can do wonders as far as making your home stand out, both in the photos and when people actually show up and they're comparing you to other homes that they're stepping into. All right, my third tip for getting your house ready to sell in the early winter market, and this is gonna be an important one, make use of all of the lighting that you have. This time of year, it does get dark earlier. It's gonna be darker for a lot of the time. The sun just isn't as high, and depending on how your home is situated, you might not even have a lot of natural light to work with. So make use of what you got. First of all, make sure all of your windows are sparkling clean. A lot of times by this time, you know, if you look on the outside, there's going to be some kind of film. You'd be surprised if you wash the inside and outside of your windows how much more light is actually coming through. If you're using a white paper towel, take a look. I promise you there's gonna be brown or black on that. You can't see it, but the film is there on the windows. Make sure that your shades are fairly open. This isn't the time to be covering those windows with lots of curtains and shades. You want as much natural light coming in the house as you can. Now, inside the house, make sure that you have all of the lights turned on, especially for photos. This is gonna be key. A lot of people don't realize that when we take really good professional photos, the first thing we do is go through the house and literally turn on every single light we can find. So for your photos, that's something you wanna do. If you're available to do it or your agent is available and you're going to be having showings on the house, um, you know, don't leave it to chance that the other agent's gonna do it. Before you leave the house for the showing, make sure that you turn on all of the lights then as well. That way when they show up, they're coming into that open environment. And this goes back to number two, that cozy environment. If the house is feeling warm and those lights are on, has that nice glow, people are gonna see the house for what it is not feel like the walls are closing in. So just a tip, maximize the use of the light this time of year. Tip number four for selling your home in a late autumn, early winter market, show and highlight areas that are going to be appealing in the winter. A lot of times, if you think about when things go on in the summer, we're showing waterfront or we're showing the swimming pool, we're showing uh, you know the kitchens with a lot of that sunlight spilling in, well, there's a lot of things as people are in the mindset to buy the home right now, they're thinking, how can this home benefit me right now, even if it's just subconsciously? So if you have a media room or a TV room or a game room, if you have a place where you keep the toys, if you have, think about things like if you have a mud room that's going to come in very handy, all of these spaces, make sure you highlight those. You wanna make sure that the photos are extra good. You wanna really pay attention to cleaning and decluttering these areas because you want people to A, not feel like the walls are closing in, but B, feel like, wow, this is a space we could use right now. How about when we have the next nor'easter blizzard, wouldn't it be great to watch a movie in this room? Wouldn't it be great after the kids come in from shoveling the driveway? Make sure they're doing it, not you. A place to put their boots and their hats and their mittens. You wanna showcase all of the spaces that are gonna really create that feel of, where we're going to congregate in the winter. You know, as I said before in one of the other items, if you have a fireplace, show that, show it off, make it look warm, create the ambiance, highlight the spaces that people can use now. All right, we made it to the end. Tip number five, how we're gonna get your home to stand out in this late fall, early winter market as you're getting ready to sell. Fix all of the obvious issues. Now, this is something that we would give advice any time of year. If you have leaky pipes or you've got places that you need to patch in the walls, maybe just touch up some paint, you wanna get all of those obvious things. Chip tiles, that's another one. Fix them now before you get the home listed and marketed. And I'm gonna tell you, while we give this advice year round, it is going to show out a lot more during this time of year when people are inside the house. They're inside the lights are on and they're thinking that, you know, I'm probably not gonna get to a lot of these projects until the spring, just like you're thinking that now too. 
get there before they have to because if you can fix those things now when it's going to be so obvious and apparent when they're inside the house and they're thinking about this is the space I'm going to be inside a lot more during this time of year I don't want to look at that hole in the wall I don't want to, have to think about a leaky pipe in the winter maybe it's going to freeze I don't want to think about that broken tile get as much as you can accomplished before bringing the house to market it's going to do wonders for making you stand out among a lot of homes where people just simply aren't going to do that whether they decide that you know they don't have the time or the finance or there's just not something that they're uh, even aware of it's not on their radar if it's on your radar you get it taken care of it's going to squeeze some maximum value this is where we squeeze those extra pennies out of the list price now that's really it for my top five tips specifically to get your home to market and stand out during this late autumn early winter market one thing I want to say specifically and this was that stay to the end piece make sure your home is priced appropriately price it correctly a lot of times what we see is in the spring market Pricing is strong and it's almost a race to the top. So as we know that the inventory is flying off the shelf and there's a lot of squeeze and there's a lot more buyers out there looking for homes, you can somewhat go to the higher point of your range. You don't wanna do that as much. I'm not saying price your home low because you don't want people to think there's something wrong with it either, but get that range, look at where things are priced in your niche of the market and you can work with your agent to do that. Look at what is currently listed. Look at your current competition. And maybe you don't shoot for the moon. Maybe you find where you fit in to show value to the consumer. So not only do they see that you took the time to broaden the curb appeal, make your home cozy, fix the obvious issues, all these things, but also it's priced in a way that they're not saying, wow, what is this person doing? Trying to drive up the prices? No. It's priced accurately, and if you do that, there's a lot more chance that you're gonna have multiple offer scenarios still in this market, and that you're going to be able to get what you're asking for, if not a little bit more. That's how you do it. You don't do it by shooting high, you do it by shooting for the value point in the current market. That's it, guys. That's what I have for you today. Uh, what are your thoughts and opinions? Have you ever sold a home during this time of year? Have you sold a home at different times? What was the experience? How was it different? Drop a comment below. If you have tips, drop a comment below. We'd love to hear what your tips are. Of course, as always, if you guys are looking for a real estate professional in the central Maine market, go ahead and reach out to me. All of my contact information is linked in the post of this video. Of course, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you for sticking around to the end of this video. And until the next one, I'll see you next time.